The final image is made by combining two photos, one with this beautiful dog and one photo with some foggy trees. I will drop you some links to these images in the description, so make sure you check them out. So I will drag and drop these two images in Photoshop. They will open up separately and then the first thing I'm going to do is to desaturate them. I will start with the dog and go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. But we also have a shortcut for this, which is Control plus Shift plus U or Command Shift U on a Mac. So I'm going to use this shortcut and desaturate the other image with the trees. OK, now we need to bring in the image with the trees in the same document where the dog is. So I'm just going to grab this layer from here, bring it over this tab and then let go of the mouse to drop the photo. There are also other ways of importing photos into Photoshop, but this time this is the way I do it. Select the trees layer and press Ctrl plus J to duplicate it because I will use them both at the top and bottom of the dog's head. To make it more simple, I will rename these layers to Dog, Trees 1 and Trees 2. And for now, I will hide the layers with the trees. The next step is to create a selection of this cute dog and I will use the pen tool for this. I press P on the keyboard or just go and press on the pen tool in the left toolbar and then I start creating the selection. It's gonna take some time because I would like to be precise, so I think it's a good idea to speed up the video until I finish this selection. Okay, keep in mind that I will refine the selection, but before that, I want to create more contrast between the fur of the dog and the background. I finished the work with the pen tool and you can see that Photoshop has recorded the path here in this tab so anytime I need it, I can reactivate it. So I will deselect this path for now by simply clicking outside of this layer. Now I go back to the Layers tab and I will add a new Curves Adjustment layer and then try to create a hard contrast in this area right here because this will help me a lot in the next step while I'm refining the selection. So with this Curves layer selected, I go and click on my path to activate it and I press Ctrl plus Enter to create a selection. And then I would like to enter the Select and Mask panel, so I press Ctrl, Alt, R on Windows or Option Command R on a Mac. From here I make sure I select Sample All Layers, then I make sure the Refine Edge Brush is active and I start painting on the left side of the dock to bring back some of the fur. When I'm done, I increase the contrast level to about 45 and I put one pixel into the feather box. Then I press OK, I select the layer with the dog and I press on Create Layer Mask. Alright, now we have some results. I can now delete the curves layer for the moment and as you can see, there is still some work to do in order to make this selection better. So I hold down Alt and press on the layer mask. Now only the layer mask is visible so I can modify it just by brushing with black or white. I need to fill in some areas with white first, also to make this area much smoother. And now I switch the blending mode to overlay, set a flow of 6% and start brushing away these white areas from outside. And by choosing Overlay, you are protecting more of the white areas. You need to test it out for yourself and you will understand it. Okay, it looks much better now. Hold down Alt and click on the layer mask to go back to the normal view. Now, if you find some value until this point in this tutorial, please hit the thumbs up. I usually create photo and video editing tutorials, gear reviews, as well as Photoshop tutorials like this one, so consider subscribing. OK, so now I will add a new curves layer on top of this one because I want to correct this image in terms of contrast. So I'm going to go ahead, darken the blacks and raise the highlights. Awesome. Now I will create a white background with a solid color adjustment layer 
and then put it at the bottom of the layers. And you know what? I'm going to create a group with these two layers and name it dog. Let's put the dog somewhere in the center of the frame and also unhide one of the trees layer. Right click and convert it to a smart object because I'm going to resize it up and down and I don't want to lose resolution. Watch what happens when I put this layer on the lighten blending mode. This is already another story here. So what I'm going to do next is to rotate this upside down and resize it until I find a good position for the trees. I want them to be somewhere below the dog's mouth. You should take your time with this, make it bigger, make it smaller, rotate it again if you want, and you'll find a good spot. Now I can add a layer mask to this layer, take a black brush and paint over the areas where I don't want to affect my subject. Now I will add a curves layer and I will clip it to this layer because I only want to affect this layer with the trees. I will reposition the black point and then I want to get rid of this gray area from here. To solve this, I will grab this point and bring it to the left, just like this. The gray area is still visible, so I will grab a black brush, select the layer mask from the dog layer, and with a 15% flow, I can just brush away those parts slowly and safely. It's not a big deal. Also, you can see that the tips of the trees down here are not visible, but I can fix this too. If I put something black underneath that area, because of the blending mode, the trees will show up. So let's create a new layer in the dog group above the current layer. I take a black brush and again with a low percent of flow, I paint on the trees here. And look at that, problem solved. Guys, if you have questions, or you don't understand something, just put it in the comments and I will try my best to reply and help you, okay? So the thing is, you can always make anything darker by using the small tip. Create another curves adjustment layer on top of this one right here. Darken the image and then click on the layer mask and invert it with Ctrl plus I. Now, take a white brush and with a flow of 7%, paint anywhere you want to darken the trees layer. It's time to bring in the scene, the second layer with the forest, so I'm gonna unhide it. It's the same image, I'm gonna right click on it and convert it to a smart object. And now, all I'm going to do is to put this layer on light and blending mode and start scaling it up, down, move it, rotate it if I want, until I find a good spot here. I'm searching a spot actually where the eye of the dog will be visible. And I think this will do the work. Again, I'm adding a layer mask to this. And on top of this layer, I will add a curves adjustment layer and I'm going to clip it to the trees layer. I will add some contrast to make the fog brighter. And when I'm done, I just click on the trees layer mask. I want to invert it with Ctrl plus I to make this layer invisible for the moment and then grab a white brush and start unhiding this layer at the upper part of the dog's head. Again, I want you to take your time with this because this should look very good in the end. Okay, to be honest, I really like how this image turned out. It looks awesome and I hope you like it too. Make sure you watch another video from the screen right now. I have a bunch of them. If you recreate this image with the dog, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter. Bye-bye now.